Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be comparing uh, basically the Golden Minigunner to Spectrum Minigunner. Like, Spectrum Minigunner is so cool. This game is called Base Defense, and um, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spectrum Minigunner and doing a review, quick review. Uh, so, uh, and uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Killer, uh, who's placed down for Spectrum Minigunner. So far, it has a placement limit of 5, has DPS of 180. And one interesting thing about uh, Spectrum Minigar is that it has no upgrades. So if you place down it, it has a placement cost of 15,000. So it's going to be... So level 0 is going to be the first and the final upgrade all at the same time, which is really interesting. Which is the same for this uh, Russian soldier Boris. Um, level 0 is a max and also the final upgrade. Definitely interesting. And um, I only have Sniper placed down, but Sniper is kind of doo-doo. Uh, <laughs> uh, one interesting thing about Sniper in this game is that it has a range of 10,000 guys. 10,000 is literally 100 times the size of this map, so I can't even see the range. Like, it is really crazy because like, if you place on a, a scout, right, you can actually see the range, which is the blue range around it, or light blue, right? So you can actually see the range, but like, Sniper, the range is so big, it's literally 10,000, you can't even see anything. Um, but yeah, back to Spectrum Minigunner, guys. This is honestly the coolest tower I've ever seen in all of tower defense games. I think you guys would have to agree. You guys will literally have to agree that this is the coolest looking tower ever. Like honestly, right? Because like it's constantly changing in color, right? We, we see dark blue, uh, green, yellow, right? It's constantly changing colors. It kind of looks similar uh, to TTS minigunner, golden minigunner with the halo and wings. But like, it's it's definitely way more uh, better looking, right? And the uh, surprising thing about this game is that um, this game apparently has a rating of 83%, but I honestly think that it deserves like at least like 90 or so, right? 90% because um, this is still in beta. It could, actually, it might be in alpha. I don't know which one, but uh, like the towers look super nice. Um, there really aren't any noticeable bugs that I could find. This is my second time playing, but um, yeah, I couldn't really find any noticeable bugs. Everything looks really good so far, right? So the fact that it only has 83% rating was kind of surprising. And uh, apparently the DJ in this game is actually able to attack. I mean, he if you guys ever watched Naruto anime or read uh, manga, he looks like that one character, uh, Six Path Sage or something. Right, I'm gonna have a screenshot of that character right next to him, but yeah, that's what he looks like. He's just chilling with the shades, and uh, he can he can apparently attack. His DPS is around I think 30 or so, so it's not too bad. But um, it also gives a boost of like 25% rate of fire. So <laughs> DJ in this game is definitely epic, and I think for this game the last wave is wave uh, 30. So uh, we gotta wait five more waves for the final boss if there is one. I never really got to wave 30 the first time I played it. I got to like wave 20 and then we lost because uh, cause we didn't have uh, epic spectrum minigunners and also machine gunners. I think machine gunner uh, is the second strongest tower in the game, 120 DPS with um, right after spectrum minigunner with a DPS of 180. Yo, <laughs> oh my god, that was really close actually. So apparently um, the thing he's riding on is a is a uh, gadget called Tonk, T-O-N-K, and uh, you can actually ride on it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. You can ride on it, but it moves freely. You can't control it, so it just moves freely to uh, to nearby zombies and then attacks them, and then uh, I think collides into them and dies eventually. But yeah, it's a pretty cool gadget uh, that costs about three thousand coins. And finally, we're at the last wave. Oh man, I don't see any boss zombie uh, right now, but uh, yeah, it, it's super crazy right now. <laughs> there's like, there's so many zombies like spawning. It's possible that we might lose this actually. Depends. Wait, I just, I just noticed that the UFO is spawning the zombies. I thought the zombies were randomly just spawning here, <laughs> not dropping from the UFO. That's what I noticed just now. I, I don't think pyros actually slow down. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think they only did damage in this game. Oh, so apparently uh, they they do slow them down. But yeah, it's not something that I could really easy, easily notice. 50%? No, there's no way it's 50%. Actually, 
I don't think it slows down immediately. Unless I'm like freaking blind. It doesn't look like the zombies are getting slowed. Like, look, what? It's definitely not 50% though. It's probably 10%. I could notice some enemies like slowing down very, very fast, but like, I don't know, some of them don't even seem to slow down. Oh, I think it's because just when they're about to like start slowing down, they die. <laughs> I think that's why. But yeah, I think uh, the last wave is the exact same as the previous waves, except um, it's it's red. Like it's like all red. Epic! I got my badge. Humble Child One Team uh, Pixel Projects Wave Thirty. Pretty epic. And then apparently there's a bonus wave, guys. Uh, now half of them playing bonus wave for leaderboard. Each wave gets one exp each. Okay, so apparently according to Killer, I have to play uh, the infinite waves for 10 minutes in order to get Boris. So we're just gonna play for 10 minutes and um, and I'll uh, end up getting Boris. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.